Good evening, everybody. It is May 31st, 2024. It is 7.57 at night. Okay, so what I've got for you for this video is um, part four, chapter two, a mess of magnificent proportions. Radical forgiveness. If you're, I think you're going to click with more than a few things in the following pages because despite fleeting moments of 15 minute fame with Oprah, Dick Clark, and Dr. James Dobson, my life isn't altogether, not by a long shot. Can't mind me then. There are relationships that aren't quite what they should be. And most, if not all, of the blame can be placed on me. And yeah, probably me too. <laughs> there are specific temptations, grudges, vices, and selfish motives I know in my head and heart are wrong. Yet I find myself succumbing to them time and time again. And there are flat-out sins I have willfully chosen to commit, despite the fact they go against the very faith I claim to possess as a believer. How crazy is that? As crazy as admitting... As crazy as, as admitting it, perhaps. Can you relate? Yes, I can. <laughs> I'm thinking you can. <laughs> For once again, I find myself writing not only out of my struggle, but from the comments, confessions, and conversations drawn from thousands of women I have met personally or communicated with via email. For better or worse, it seems we have all fallen short in our relationships with others and God, not to mention how we fall short in the ways we treat ourselves. All of us need to embrace the messy reality of our existence, for nothing can happen until we fully admit it. But there are a few prerequisites for all of us. One, we must come just as we are. Come as you are, as you are, as a friend. Okay. <laughs> we must bring all our messy messes... No attempting to dress them up or shove them in a laundry basket and hide them away. Three, we can't compare our mess to anyone else's. And four, and most important, we must confess with our own mouth the reality of our situation. <laughs> oh, God. And she too says, are you ready? Hmm. <sighs> I tell you what, since this was my idea to begin with, I'll go first. <clears throat> I am a mess. There, I said it. Now, it's your turn. Don't be shy. No whispering. Just say it. Confess it. Throw aside control issues or perfectionist tendencies and just do it. Admit once and for all that you don't have it all together. I am a mess. While you're confessing, I'd like to submit this additional fact regarding my own messy reality. I am a woman who knows only one manner in which to engage life. All or nothing. It's true. I will either be captivated utterly or completely by something, or have no interest in it whatsoever for the remainder of my life on Earth. 26 years ago, I picked out the china pattern I wanted to set my table with as an adult, just this Christmas, I lovingly placed six set is, settings of Gorham Kingsbury around the dining room table and thought, I like this as much as I did when I was 12 years old. All or nothing. Translated into real woman terms, that means I will attempt to lose 15 pounds in two days and believe all the while it is possible, 
or I will eat my way through 15 pounds of Hostess Chocolate Ho-Hos instead. All or nothing. <laughs> I can so relate. Relationally, I have a strong tendency to move at warp speed, often scaring the daylight out of more snail-prone strangers and tentative acquaintances. James Bond wishes he had a car that accelerated at Julie speed. <laughs> All or nothing. And regarding the spiritual areas of my life, well, I've attended rowdy women's retreats and stayed up all night discussing predestination, the second coming of Jesus, and the writings of Dr. Francis Schaeffer. I've also fallen asleep while praying. <laughs> I've done that too. <laughs> Therefore, ladies, in keeping with my all or nothing tendencies, I proclaim I am not just a mess. I am a mess of magnificent proportions. And yes, I'd like you to embrace and confess this magnificent truth until it rolls comfortably off your tongue. Go ahead, try it a time or two. I am a mess of magnificent dramatic arm movements strongly encouraged proportions. <laughs> now... If we were all sitting side by side or shoulder to shoulder, I'd ask you to look another woman directly in the eye, smile sweetly, and say to her, You are a mess. Trust me, you would love it. Okay, so that is going to be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you like this content, like this video, or feel free to comment below. Thank you very much for watching this video, and everybody have a good day. Or night, I should say. <laughs>